Can we just start this day over already? All of this last two days of fixing all this pivot and all that, let's go into the scrap yard. We're back at it. We're on the rollback again, as promised. So we're gonna get the rollback stuff put in here. It's gonna be a rollback. It's gonna take us a little extra effort. It's gonna suck actually is what it's gonna do, but we're gonna get it. So we gotta cut these cross members out, take the shock mount off, and then set that thing in here and try to attach it to the frame somehow. We'll get going on it. We'll see how this works. Oh yeah, that's gonna look good, isn't it? Don't worry, I got this, Hunter. I'm watching. You just hold that camera. I will. I'm gonna go with 19 enchiladas. <sighs> Nothing's easy. Gosh no. dang it. So the leaf springs are in the way right here. Like it's just gonna be funky. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know. Just talking to myself here, trying to work this out. I've got a plan. We're gonna start cutting. It's gonna look something like that. Think that'll work? Maybe. It's got no choice. And then this other side, it's a little ugly. It's gonna be a deal, but we'll make it work as well. So this part will weld to the frame. If I just put another angle up this, it would just, I could just bolt it right there and there. I had to keep it there because it'd have the bottom support. Want to slide it out? You just, that's how I'll do it. Sean's getting crazy. That's well on the bottom too, is I've got a plan, we'll see if it works. I think it's gonna be good enough. One side up, see if this side. Just grind it up. You don't even know they were in there, hopefully. We'll set that bucket in there. This is just ridiculously hard. Um, you want me to hold something? Why did you weld this together like this, Hunter? <laughs> it's a little bit of a gap. Uh, I don't think I could weld that gap. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Son of a gun, what did I? Get some filler rod. We're gonna need the big gap filler rod for that. That's two inches. <laughs> How did I do that wrong? Can we just start this day over already? Just for about to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't accomplished anything yet, so I guess we can. Evidently, I need to go back to shop class and learn how to read a tape measure again. Supposedly, this fixes it. <laughs> I'm going to tack it together and then we'll set it in there and see if it fits. God I can't wait today. It. I just welded this together backwards. Let me show you. <laughs> I should go back to bed today, I think. At least I was smarter and I just tacked it this time. Jace. How goes the grinding? Where was quality it's control beginning. on that, man? It's going good. Oh, geez. Technically, that should work, right? Yeah. Much more better. Ooh, that was a struggle right there, man. I'm on the bus. If we ever need to take this bowl out. So is it welding right to the hanger? I think it is. Yeah, if we ever need to take that bolt out, we're cutting this off. And then I'm just gonna put an angle brace. I'll put a piece up the back. We'll just hook into it that way. It should be great.
I'm gonna go ahead and just set the box in there because the way the day's been going, I need to get down. Okay, I can deal with that. That's gonna work. Then I gotta build something that comes up the back because the two bolts right there to hold it in. So. And then we'll just tie a little piece off of here with it, off of there with it. Bill. I'm on track today. I'm, everything's going to be okay. I think she's done grinded. So it's all cleaned up. I think after lunch, it's about lunchtime, we're going to bring the pivot in here and see just how it's going to fit. We're back. I guess we bring this thing in here. We got the forklift running. Let's go get her picked up, see how it's going to look in here. Where is this thing? It's over here. So this part is. right here is going to set down in the frame rails just like the other truck. But it's, it needs to be in tight and I think this is going to fix. So we need to flip that around if it's hanging in the shop so we can back under it. We may have to get it out in there and change something. Probably. There's been some debate going on. What does this weigh? Hunter climbed up there and it was by the hoist and it said 2,000 pounds for the crane. I don't know if this is smart. We were told lift it with the crane so we could back under it and set it in place. There's half of it. I don't know about that. That's the dang one. Oh. Got it. Holy cow. I would say that's probably max. Do you dare go higher? <laughs> <laughs> it's got it. That's easy. It's got it. No worries. What was we worried about? <laughs> Good to go. 30 inches. Is that high enough? 26. Maybe bump it up just one more time or? <laughs> so we're good. We'll get this backed over there. Hunter can guide me in. It really does look pretty Why good. That work? Other than you'd be hitting fuel tanks and stuff right now, but they're tough. No. They're tough. We're, if that was flat, they would sit on there. But if we go get a piece of tubing, let's do that. Let's grab some square tubing. Well, we got that figured out. Now what? Yeah. Set her down. Let's go down a little bit. That's how much narrower we are. That's not much. Five and a half. All right, that is. I don't know if we split this down the middle and stretch the box, or if we're gonna rub, run something for it to sit on. I don't know what the plan is here. We'll get it. I don't know what we'll do, but we'll get it. This is interesting. You boys have opened up a can here. We need it to set as physically low as we can make it set. Basically, get that down, and then the bed needs to be, this part needs to be level whatever we gotta do to make that level. But then we'll have to put something across these that this goes down and hits. And that will be, that will be the height of that. If you guys get this done, I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> we'll tack it and yeah. tell you it's good to go. Yeah, get that put in there and say she's mint. Looks like we need to make it a 14 foot bed. If we go 14 foot bed, that puts it right there. The stinger's way too long. We'd have to 
We'd have to shorten the crap out of him, but we could do it. We're gonna run over into the other side of the shop. Landon, he is building Volkswagen junk. He wanted us to come look at something. It smells like you were running it. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh, that. Oh boy. That's the rod. Yeah. That's the end of it. That's awesome. Good Look job. That, that you get a trophy for that one. That's a good one right there. <laughs> Boom, chakalaka. <laughs> well, she's done. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there she goes. <laughs> uh, uh, here she goes. Speaking of Volkswagens, we need your guys' help. I need another exhaust system like this, another mid-engine exhaust system. Not for this buggy, but for Jace's buggy. We built one, it was terrible, and we wanna make it run again. So if any of you guys have one of those kicking around, let us know, email us at the Fab Rats or call us on the tow truck line. So number's somewhere right here. And let us know if you have it, cause we are in the need of one. So. Landon is gonna take his motor out of here, take my motor out of mine and put it in here because I'm not driving this piece of crap again. My back still hurts from it. I want suspension. We're going LS power What next are time. you laughing about? He'll get old one day and he'll know what I'm talking about. He's taking all the fuel injection off and we're gonna put it on the wood truck where it belongs. And then he put his carburetor on here. And he just needs to get her done. Work faster. Twist that thing sideways. Goes down really good. All right, that'll work. I'll saw us all on the front of that and get that cut off. I guess we can cut these wings off too. We don't need those. Clean all this crap up that Hunter. I don't know who the heck you're talking know. about. Just straight across it. Straight across. All right, we finally got it. We cut the crap out of it. I gotta, I gotta try to weld all that Swiss cheese back together that he, that was he a cut. Struggle. It's hard to get in there. It looked tight. It sucked. We may have to just build some new ones of those two. Probably Four of them are, are good. Two of them are, one of them's really bad. Really bad. <laughs> it was pretty bad. <laughs> you want it nice, do it yourself. That's right. One. <laughs> yeah. Go. Gonna need a new blade. That one's missing some teeth. Oh, wow. <laughs> kind of odd you giving us. Slim to none? Yeah. First hit. Eat your words, Hunter. Gonna have to. When are you gonna quit doubt? That me? was a lot easier. Don't even you didn't even think it was gonna go that easy. <laughs> I knew it was going that easy, Hunter. Complete confidence in what I was about to do. Let's do it. Two for two. Must be living right. this thing trimmed down. We've cut a whole bunch of fat off of it that we don't need. Next priority is to take these bolts out, see if we can't get that thing separated from the bottom. Then we'll set that bottom cradle in and start getting it mounted into the truck. And then we'll build the top cradle back. It's going to be going to be a lot of work, but we're going to get it done in the next 17 months. <laughs> I'm thinking 17 months. Seven. I think we should be able to finish this truck no problem. <laughs> Two years minimum. Moving? Yeah. Stay in there. 
Is that pretty much out? You derailed. Felt like it came. Where did we? Hot back there, in case you're wondering. There we go. I'll wiggle it to a sweet spot. Can you pull that other side, Hunter? And it'll yeah, just I fall tried. Out. It's pretty. Well, I'll wiggle it. Y'all can pull it, Hunter. Pull it. Got it. Seems like we haven't done anything but tear stuff apart lately. You get that feeling? A little bit. I don't think it goes back together that quick. All right, got a bunch done today. Got this thing all stripped apart. It's, it's terrible. Those bushing holes are bad. It had some sort of a bushing in it, but it's junk at this point. So we're gonna have to build bushings for those and weld them in. So got a bunch of cutting. We gotta cut these clear off of here, both sides and the back. And then we can get this part put in the frame. That's tomorrow's, tomorrow's gig. We'll get that set in there. And then technically I think we can start going back together with it finally, start building. So I'm gonna build some box things and get those finished and then we fresh for tomorrow. We're back at it. Our goal for today is pretty lofty, but we're gonna get it. This thing is gonna be mounted in there. And if all goes well, this thing will be mounted onto that. So that's for sure getting mounted. This is a hope. I'm gonna start building bushings while Sean does some hackery with the plasma cutter. And maybe we'll have this thing ready to go here shortly. So barring any recoveries or interruptions or any of those things today. This is what I got going. I gotta build bushings. It only had little one inch bushings on each side of this. I'm gonna put a sleeve clear through both sides. So I gotta find a piece of pipe that uh, will fit on that. We'll see what, what I got around here. I got some uh, two inch DOM for roll cages and it happens to be the exact thing that we need for this. So I'll cut some pieces that we can put in this frame right here. <laughs> if you look at this, it's all messed up. So I'm gonna have to chuck it up in the lathe, weld these up, spin it down. It's like I didn't have enough to do and I have to do this. So we'll make them right. What are you Perfect. doing? These have gotta come off. So we're gonna plasma cut around the tops. I think this is gonna sit about frame height and then we'll just run whatever mount right to it. So get some trim. All right, we're gonna go ahead and weld all these up, get it chucked up in the lathe and spin them back down. All right, I got this all welded up. I'm gonna go chuck it up in the lathe, make this nice and smooth, and then we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, so I gotta make these fit through there. So normally you would like bore it out with something, but I'm using a plasma cutter today. Took a little wide out, put on the top. So I just gotta trim that out and then uh, slide these pipes. all the bushings out. Maybe that's, that's not welded it looks like. Well I'm not much farther than I was. Maybe I can cut it. Maybe not. Alright. 
top's good. Bottom, basically right around that bottom is what I need. Can't even knife smooth enough to white out it. I'm just gonna cut that bottom out and see what happens. Junker, he's about back in the running, huh? About. Square, you know, to weld that thing in. I'm not gonna weld them until Sean gets done finishing that other side and we'll put it through it, weld them both square. I got this thing put together. As soon as Sean's done, we'll slide it all together and weld these things in. Both pins are, uh, both bushings are on. So, we did this properly. That's not gonna work. Nope. Now it'll work. It's stupid close. That one's good. This one is almost good. Right there. We'll make it. Yeah, might not hurt to put a little grease on it or some spray or something. I'm happy with that. All right. Does she turn? Oh yeah. Think it'll ever move again? No. I don't think you'll use it too much. No, I mean, think this will twist. Oh, probably not. <laughs> Brand new bushings. Looks good. Let's pick it up. Nope, not good. <laughs> not good at all. Not good at all. Maybe? Keep going. There you go. Hey. Well then, that almost died. We're still good. Good, we don't have our sign yet how many days <laughs> fell our last accident, so we're good. Let's just go ahead and safety things up a little bit. There we go. This is a temporary holding. I'm gonna weld right there and on both sides. That is gonna keep this where we need it, basically. Okay, lift her. See if she'll level up. Close-ish right there. Go try this other side. Holder. Close-ish. Okay. Say when. One more. 
close enough. For we just, let me see that one on this side. Is it the same? I need one more phone. Oh, no, we're good right here. There's that. Now we just got to figure out how to mount all this stuff. <laughs> we got it. Really, the back's going to be pretty easy. We're just going to take a piece of uh, 2x4 square tube, cut it the width of this, weld them in each side. That'll be a number. Bam. There it is. Then up here, that goes on the outside and then sets on the top of this, doesn't it? Yeah. We've stared at this for an hour now. There's no way to make this work and have it look decent. We can make it function. We can make the bed move on and off and tip and do all those things, but it's going to be so tall that this is not cool. It's not going to work. So plan B, which is all of this last two days of fixing all this pivot and all that, it's going to the scrap yard and we're going to build a frame, cut the aluminum bed to fit on here and have a static bed with a dovetail on the back. And how do you feel about all of this? Me? Yeah. Well, I'm pretty pissed. We wasted a whole bunch of time and energy and money. I mean, I bought the whole truck just for the bed and now I didn't even really need it. So I would rather have a roll back on it, but it's gonna look like crap if I do it. So it's going a different route. It's gonna look better and function better for what I need. So we'll go that way. Okay, hey, throw it up. Throw them up. There you go, you got it. I've been pouting for an hour now. I'm still kind of mad, but I kind of came up with a new game plan. It's not like a rollback, but what about a dump bed? I'm just, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I think if we had, so we're thinking 14 foot bed. So if we come back here, 14 foot, which is right, right in that area. And if we made it pivot right there, that, that wouldn't be terribly steep. Even if we had to build some little ramps or something, I don't know. But I have all the parts, I think, to make a dump bed. Or do you just make the back half pivot and not make the front half pivot? Man, you could just mount a single ram right off of here. Pushing it up. Yeah, it'd push pull. That doesn't solve. That doesn't solve that. That problem. doesn't solve. They can't get to my batteries and can't put fuel in a problem. I don't know. Yeah. Let's go out and look at this thing. It's smaller than I thought. Yeah, it's not very big. Oh, I can't. Change part. About a box of goodies. We got it all. It's big. That would fit down in there. Yeah, it fit. Right, right. I think the whole bed tip. Yep. yep. New plan. And all the old stuff is gone. New attitude. Not really, I still kinda have the same pissed off attitude. You didn't just wipe your hands. Maybe clean. tomorrow. Like, yeah. <laughs> tomorrow I'll wake up happier. <laughs> yeah, we don't even need all this stuff that we fixed. Although it does look really good. Though. Spins good. Yeah. Gosh. Why can't I remember how far? Is it four foot of an overhang? <laughs> I don't That's ten foot, yeah. Four foot. four foot. So if you go. So we could just hold the whole tape measure. Yeah, you hold that at four foot on the ground. Yeah, it ain't gonna. Yeah. It's gonna have to lift if higher. If it was that truck. high. 
a lot higher than we were thinking, but but it's not touching but the ground. But it'll stand up that tall. It will. Guarantee it'll lift that high. That high. And have your ramps extend the rest of the way. Yeah, just pull ramps and drive up on it. Then you load it. Then you load the car or whatever you want on it. I like that. I think we build us a stupid bill for this. We just need a box, right? Yeah, let's build the framework. And... Pivot point will be right there. Weld it in and attach it. Yep. And then we'll experiment with ram hookup points. We'll just lift that thing up as high as it'll go and see where we want our bed. It may work. It may not work. We may... We've wasted two days. What's it Let's get another one wasted. I think if we take and cut that in half, we can use it for the angle when the well, four inch sets in there. We can weld it in on the angles. What are you doing? This is uh, an inside plate for the frame where our hinge is gonna weld in on the back. So this is gonna hold the whole weight of the bed up. So we're we're doing some engineering. Quite on the set over there. Sorry, the cat's pawing. I mean, what in the world? <laughs> first, first time on first, set, you know. First, time. first day down here. <laughs> We cut all our cross members out, so <laughs> something's got to go back in. Uh, we can't even do anything until we weld something in there, and then I can cut the back of the frame off. Nothing like going backwards to go forwards. I feel like that's good, right? I like it. That'll weld. This won't fall off when we're done. All right, so we're just getting rid of what we don't need on this thing, and then we can start building. Here we go. All okay. right, okay. just turn her down. Turn it down. Yeah. Right there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's better or not, but it's off. <laughs> it's just me. It's a late shift, so it's after six. I got a bunch of this to cut out to get all figured out, and then. Uh, Probably not gonna get it welded together tonight, but I'll get it all cut out and ready for tomorrow so we can get this whipped and have somewhat of a bed put on it. We're not gonna have the aluminum put on it. Calling it a night. Sometimes uh, sometimes things go like you plan them, sometimes they don't. This time, uh, things did not work out for me. It was terrible. This day started out bad, it got worse, but now it's getting better. This is a better plan, this is gonna work better, it's gonna look way better. It's not gonna be a rollback, it's just gonna be a tilt bed, but we'll get it done. So stick with us, we'll get this thing functioning, be able to haul something on it. So thanks for watching.